yo, 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 Magic Jar Review, we're back. Um, today we got something different. I got a special request um, from a restaurant to go and um, review them. So I'm going to use the jar to pick the guest who's gonna come with us. So yeah, so that's what we're doing today. We got the jar, you know how this goes. It's where the magic happens. Back to mixing, back to mixing, back to mixing. Because I realised the date that we've booked is V-Day. I think it'll be preferable for us to get a young lady. Hopefully they're single, man. Because they're not single, it's a bit tight still. Who we got, who we got, who we got? Steph. Yeah, so she's a female game reviewer. She runs gaming tournaments. She's done a quite quite a few things. Um, me and her worked together last year. Um, we did a collaboration, private Black Panther screening, my my event, planting party. And we linked up with her, and Lisa Saga, and another group, um, the Nerd Council. And yeah, we did a little private viewing and taught them all. Hopefully, we do more things. Yeah, so. We gonna do a little V-Day special. Um, and yeah, catch us there. No, 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 no days off. Yo, sure you wanna take vows. I just wanna make cow. She was off in the mood. I was off in the blouse. Told me link her in south. Uni done, I'm about. They looking for the source, tell them you look under the couch Tell a man in denial, tell a man watch your mouth Ignore a man when they up, now they wanna be down Bragging about where they drive, I ain't waiting around Please check up on your wife, I take the train to our house I roll pull up and I bounce, yeah Sure you frowning like I need her Had a beanie with me last week, had another Justin like I'm Bieber Nuts and gully with the So what you saying? Um, I'm gonna get the garlic butter prawn. Oh man, I want jerk chicken. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, we're good. Um, can I get barbecue wings? Um, garlic butter prawn. Pork or jerk chicken? And jollof. Can I have a lobster combo? Um, with lobster mac and cheese. Can I get um, the chicken and waffles um, with the lobster mac and cheese? And can I also get the battered prawns as well? For start? Welcome to the mid show. Welcome to the Magic Jar Review. We're here, Valentine's Day special. I'm here with my baby. We're here with our guest, our lovely guest, Steph. On this episode, we're going to be trying to win our heart. May the best man win. <laughs> so how are you guys tonight? Yeah, we're all right, man. Another day, another pound, another Brexit. How are you, my darling? I'm good. I'm tired. But I'm glad to be here. Thank you guys for inviting me. Burgundy gang. We did not plan this, I can't. Honestly. We did not. <laughs> you know what? They believe us because it's red. Valentine. Steph, do you want to let my guests know what you do, who you are? So, I'm Stephanie. I am founder of Nay Saga. It is a gaming, comics, and anime platform dedicated to celebrating the culture of gaming, comics, and anime, a safe space for black people, especially women and black men, um, to come together with no boundaries. And yeah, I host events, tournaments, I have a website, um, I'm out here. Have you got anything like coming this year? So, I am currently working with Sony on something. Can you tell us what? No. no. <laughs> but uh, I, I will say that um, Spider Verse just won a BAFTA, so it has something to do with Spider Verse. Okay. So, God willing, that pulls off. Um, I want to do a Nintendo party in the summer. So, so kind of all of you Nintendo Switch bougie people can come Switch together. Switch gang, you know, we only speak Switch and knees here. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Switch your ass up. <laughs> so, what have you guys got planned for this year? I'm going back to Ghana. Okay. Oh, really? I don't want to do this guy. I'm going to do a few plantain parties in the summer. Yay. Really, this year is more about me traveling, doing more magic jar reviews um, nationally and internationally. Um, 
Yeah, because next year I'm going to be on your asses. All you restaurants and I'm on all of you, bro. They're just going to see emails from me. Hello, hi. <laughs> no, it's really good. Like, especially what you're doing is very unique. And um, it's really nice to see more black men take on YouTube. I feel like the magic jar is something really unique. It's spontaneous, you know, and obviously as, as long as I've known you, you've always been a person that just like, fuck it. And let me just go and do my thing. And yeah, it's gonna go, it's gonna do well. So I think, I think there's a new era coming on, especially a new generation of YouTube. And anyone can start it, anyone at any age, you know. Anyone can start it. Bro, when the kid is cleaning up 12 million, when he's opening gifts. If YouTube was in my day, I would have done a YouTube of me looking at the Argus catalog <laughs> and not getting that in. Uh, Mommy, I want that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Episode two. <laughs> You looking to like collab with anyone or do you have anyone like you'd like to collab with? I've got people I want to bring on the show that I know that will give my show energy. The only collaboration I want to do is when I venture into something else. Okay. So I'm going to do the collaboration with someone who does beauty and on a Friday we're going to do a face mask and I'm gonna, I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna be like, ah, and I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> I'm planning to do two clothes hauls this year. Um, no, 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 just fighting light, man. Just wanna let them know what I'd be doing in these streets. Um, so I wanna do a, I wanna do a holiday one, like a what's in my suitcase. Um, and then I'm gonna do a luxury one. So I think I wanna collab with. Um, a girl called Lisa on a close for eventually and then yeah then I think next year we're gonna delve into bigger projects this started because we had a bigger project but we couldn't do the bigger project straight away yeah you know what for a long time like I used to be a gamer and then I just kind of dropped it out like my adult life sucks because I used to have bad games like, when's the last time I opened the last game I played was Spider-Man what was GTA 5 on? Um, Xbox okay. 360, it's PS3, start, it's and start, yeah, PS3. Yeah. It was amazing. It was good. It's just that it kind of that went is. stale. They took too long to introduce all the new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like there, there was this feature where you can do stocks and trades. I think still to this day, it's still not available yet. Yeah. This girl lost me 120 grand. Tell them the story. <laughs> tell them the story. No, actually, let me tell the story. Um, everyone, anyone that knows me that plays games, yeah? When you play with me, everybody knows I cannot fly a plane. Okay. Let me let me let you know. So obviously, in yeah. this new GTA, you gonna be like you gonna be a boss yeah. and you move these packages. So obviously we gotta deliver these packages. And obviously our box is probably 12 grand or something yeah. in a piece. She had like eight. Eight of these. All she had to do was land in one circle bit. What about seeing a blade on fire? I was like, <laughs> and I didn't want to fly. I told everyone, don't, I don't want to fly. I don't want to fly. Everyone made me the pilot. Listen, yeah, I don't want to do misogyny, yeah. But yeah. woman and parking, yeah. Even good times though. I love playing with Jesse online. Oh my god, I love. It. So what you don't play anymore? I don't. My PS4 just. I, I only opened it for Netflix. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What was yeah, your lot's, lot's favourite game growing up? Okay, Streets of Rage. Oh. I was going to say Street Fighter Alpha 3. Oh. oh. You know that game, yeah, made me cry, bro. There's World Tour mode, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And you get to fight Shinokuma, yeah? I couldn't defeat this guy. For how long? I fought this guy 40 something times. <laughs> 40 times, I'm there. <laughs> no, I did of fries and delicious, man. You want to taste some? Man, the food is nice, man. Food better than I thought. Man, that man, extra ribs. How's the lobster mac and cheese? No, it's nice, man. That that lobster taste 
added to it, actually yeah. works. Yeah, what's that lobster say? Is there any more lobster or is it done? Done. Okay, long throat. Did you even let us taste? Do you want it? Yeah, what am I going to do that? Wear it. Suck it. So that's after I was talked. <laughs> after the body is the hotel lobby. Yo, they're generous with the lobster in this thing as well. Yo! I feel like we do this that's every, every episode. <laughs> No. So how many like times in a month do you get told that you look like Tion Wayne? Yeah. Hey, that doesn't happen recently. Really? Yeah. Is that Tion Wayne? Yeah. That can't be Tion Wayne. Is that Tion Wayne? Easy. What's your name? Mama Jujari. Oh yeah? Yeah. You're done. Though. You're done. Though. You're done though. <laughs> <laughs> that is so random. Bro. We're gonna think we've landed. So this place is black owned, yeah? This is the link up spot now. This is the bagel yeah, thing yeah, of yeah, love Labrador. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is so beautiful. <laughs> this is what Valentine's Day is. <laughs> Custard. That's a crumble. <laughs> Do you believe in Valentine's? To be honest, I do. Um, I think it's really nice. I mean, obviously Valentine's Day is every day and everything, but um, sometimes, obviously the women do love it. I know the men don't really like it, but men do compromise when it comes to Valentine's Day. Um, but yeah, it's cute. When was your last Valentine's Day? Two years ago. Truth be told, women do make a big deal out of it. Um, it is cute. I'm not too fussed anyways. If it happens, it happens. But I do like the idea of it. Do you believe in Valentine's Day? Do you like it? What do you mean, do, do I believe in it? I believe in Bodhi. <laughs> is that the question? I get the answer. I just, what, he's trying to, what he's trying to say is that... I believe, I believe, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> On occasion, yeah. I, can, I do the romantic thing. I did it well. I was saying. But I'm, I'm very selective. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, when I do it. I think for me, yeah, if I had a girlfriend, I'd, I'd, I'd want to be romantic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, would you guys say you're a romantic person? I, I, I won't say I'm romantic, person, but I say I got it in me. Like, yeah. I can be. I love the idea of love. Yeah, no, love is wavy, bro. Put it. Um, <laughs> it can't be. It can't be that like, funny. Just... <laughs> yeah, man, love is wavy, man. Like, when I see people in love, I'm like. But yeah, now this place is really nice. Thank you guys for inviting me. I feel honored to be on the magic jar. Don't stop. <laughs> Don't stop. I had the chicken and waffle. I had the battered shrimp. And I also had the mac and cheese, lobster mac and cheese. Listen, all of the food was just mwah, delicioso. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Like the texture, the taste. It was well seasoned or seasoned enough. Um, they didn't overdo it. Yeah, like presentation was a big thing. Um, and value for money, yeah. decent price. So I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5. Jeez, it's just glowing in the camera, you know. <laughs> uh, so um, I had the lobster combo. Uh, with the lobster mac and cheese, the grilled prawn, uh, the jollof rice, what else did I have? Yeah, it was really good. Um, great value for money. I would definitely recommend coming here again. The texture was good, especially the combination with the lobster and the mac and cheese. It was a very healthy amount. Uh, the presentation was incredible, like it was really good. Uh, especially with the way they put the rice together with the salad and you know everything else. The lobster was nice as well. It's a bit just tedious to eat, but that's with all lobsters. Yeah, it was a really good spot. The environment is really cute as well. Yeah, it's a great spot to come out with your girls, come out with the mandem, come out on a date. I'd rate it a 4.5 out of 5 as well. <laughs> We're back from our Valentine's Day special at Truth Bar and Lounge with the lovely Steph, located in Barnet. I was very impressed, I can't lie to you. This is probably gonna be one of the best ratings I give. I had, for a starter, I had the barbecue wings. They were perfect, they were nice. It was right, 
you know, sticky, sweet. Also, I think for my main, I had the garlic butter prawns, and that comes in a, a pineapple with like seasoned kind of battered prawns with some special rice. That was delicious and it's very filling as well. The special rice is seasoned. Them garlic butter prawns were delicious. I had a, a quarter jerk chicken. This was authentic jerk chicken. Jerk chicken that's made in a jerk pan has got a smoky type of flavor. Like if it ain't got that, it's not real jerk chicken. Man just threw jerk seasoning on it and said it's jerk chicken. That was lovely. Um, I also had the jollof rice. The jollof rice was a tad bit spicy. I love my spice, so that works for me. If you're not really a spicy lover, you might want to opt for special rice instead, but that, that jollof rice was delicious, I can't lie to you. I tasted the lobster mac and cheese. You see that lobster? It adds like a, a layer, a layer of taste. Like, it, it works, they work together. I don't know how, but they work. Like, it was actually very nice. I had some grilled prawns from Steph. I think they were the best tasting prawns. And then I topped it off with um, apple crumble and custard. Sorry, I ain't got no pictures to show you for that. I was just enjoying my food. The, the crumble to apple ratio was about 70 to 30 with a custard on top, just how I like it. But uh, the crumble wasn't too chewy. Lovely atmosphere. They got shisha right at the back if you want to do shisha. And they got screens out there. The, the most expensive main was probably 24 pounds. And that was the lobster tail, but it comes with one starter and two sides. All the other mains were 10 to 12 pound region. So it's a nice, fairly cheap eat. The menu is not that big, but quality over quantity, everything they got, they do it right. So with that, I'm gonna give that a five out of five. Opens late as well, which just is a, it's a nice spot to chill at, bring your dates, chill with the man them. Come and enjoy it, it's good food, good vibes. We don't decide, the jar decides. Plantain Papi, signing out. A minute I feel like I'm close to you I to turn up the ocean A minute I feel like I'm close to you I to turn up the ocean A minute I feel like I'm close to you